वेलकम बैक डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू द फिजिक्स फिजन क्लासेस द गिवन क्वेश्चन इज वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद इन दिस सब्जेक्टेड टू दिस बाउंड्री कंडीशन ओके इट्स अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट अ डिफिकल्ट वन सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दट गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न इन दिस फॉर्म डी स्क्वेयर माइनस वन वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो This gives us the solution. D square minus one is equal to zero. Gives us the solution as plus minus one. D is equal to plus minus one, which represents that we have y is equal to c one e raised to the power t one t plus c two e raised to the power minus one t. Okay, this is our solution. Now, since the boundary conditions are given, so we'll put these boundary conditions and solve the solution further. Let us substitute the value at t is equal to zero. We have y is equal to one. That implies one is equal to c one plus c two. That is, let us say equation number one. What is another equation? Another boundary condition. Another boundary condition is. At x is equal to infinity, y is equal to zero. Since notice this point, this is critically important point. At e raised to the power at t, uh, this variable is t. At t approaches to infinity, this will lead to infinity. And since the y value is zero at infinity, so this coefficient has to be zero. In order to satisfy the given boundary condition, so c1 is equal to zero, and by substituting this value c1 equal to zero here, we got c2 is equal to one. Okay. Thus, the final solution of this equation is the final form is c1 is zero. This is gone, and this is what this is. e raised to the power minus t the solution is e raised to the power minus t which can be written as cos hyperbolic cos of hyperbolic t minus sin of hyperbolic t that is option d is the correct answer to this question very interesting very good question but not so difficult so stay tuned with us to making the difficult questions easy and interesting and thanks for watching our video see you soon